Hannibal crossed the Alps using what animals? Rhinoceri, elephants, llamas, chihuahuas. Um, you know what? I'm not going out in the first question, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the 50-50 here. I'm a little, I'm a little sure, but let's see what happens. 50-50, all right, sure. The computer, please take away two of the wrong answers, leaving Robbie one wrong answer and the correct one, of course. Elephants or llamas? Okay, that was the one I thought, so I'm gonna go with C, llamas. C, llamas, final answer? That's my answer. Final answer. Robbie, you probably, I'm sorry. It was elephants. Robbie is gone before he's here. Take those lucky shorts off and burn them. <laughs> well, I am so sorry. The answer was uh, elephants. But Robbie, Good to be it's here. all over. But thank you very much. Give him a good hand. Thank you, Robbie. Good luck to you. According to the nursery rhyme, what did a little Jack Horner pull from a pie? Ribbon? Plum? Blackbird? Little Jill Horner. Well, Regis, I was kind of afraid of nursery rhymes as early questions here, but uh, I think I know this one. Um, I'm going to say... C, Blackbird. You know, it's kind of tense, isn't it, for a $100 question? It really question. is. Yeah. So, you know, it's not like anybody's watching. <laughs> so your final answer is? Um, final answer is C, Blackbird. He says Blackbird. My gosh, it was a plum. Brian, I'm sorry. Anyway, Brian, it was a plum. Yeah, sometimes those things are a little obscure in your memory. But, uh, so maybe... Something about four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie was in my head. Right, it's too late. It's over. I know. <laughs> nice try, and good luck to you. And, uh... I'm sorry. <laughs> Lisa Leslie is a professional athlete in what sport? Golf. Volleyball. Soccer. Basketball. Killing me, Regis. <laughs> <laughs> Where are those medical questions when we need them? Yeah, really. I want a friend, except I don't think any of my friends will know this. They're not all doctors, are they? <laughs> Many of them are. Oh, really? But they're knowledgeable in another area. Sure. Well, I would like to think that I would know it if it was A, C, or D. Those at least I've heard of some of the female athletes that are there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'm just going to go by 50-50 here. 50-50, okay. Computer, take away two of the wrong answers. Leaving Dr. Gold one wrong answer and the correct one. I'm going to go with B, volleyball. Volleyball, final answer. Final answer. It's basketball. Isn't that a shame? Mm. Well... It's basketball. I'm sorry, Dr. Okay. Gold. It was nice having you here. Thank you very, very much. Good luck to you. Okay. We don't trust the audience and put my faith in them. I'll go with A, Mondays. I'm going to take them the majority so, so as it be right now. 42% It's slim. Yeah. Slim majority. All right, so A, final answer? Final answer. Gosh, it was Tuesday. I'm so sorry, Steve. So sorry. Number seven for Billy, so I'm going to say B, Billy Crystal. You want to make that your final answer? That is my final answer. No, oh. no, John, no. It was Bob Hope. Which of the following is a famous French cooking school? Moulin Rouge, Eiffel Tower, Cordon Bleu, Chicken a la King. Uh, A. Final answer? Yes. Now, Moulin Rouge was a nightclub. Cordon Bleu was the uh, cooking store. Oh, well. <laughs> well, Alan, so we leave with uh, $200. Yeah. 
But thank you very much for coming, and good That's luck to fine. you in your medical career. Nice to have you. Oh, thank you. Good luck to you. All right. Oh, sorry about that. I just told Alan he had won $200. Of course, he leaves with nothing, and we all hate when that... I hate to leave here with nothing, but I'd also hate to walk away at this point. I'd hate to use a lifeline. So, I think I'm going to guess. I'm going to guess press secretary B. Final answer, Martin? Final answer. Oh, Martin, I'm sorry. Sorry, no, he was the deputy mayor. Since 1920, what state has held the nation's earliest presidential primary? Iowa, Vermont, Delaware, New Hampshire. Remember what the first primary is every election year? What state it's held in? No, I don't. All right. <laughs> Well, now, on your lifeline, think of somebody who might, uh, your last lifeline is phone a friend. Yeah. That's somebody who can help you? Stepfather Sam right now. Sam? Yeah. Is your stepdad? Yeah. All right, fine. AT&T, please get uh, Sam on the line. We need him. Hello? Hello, Sam. Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin here from ABC Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Hi, Regis. How you doing? Good. I'm here with Jeremy. And guess what? He needs your help. All right. Okay, so uh, in a moment, he's going to come on the line and ask you a question and give you four possible answers. One of them is the correct answer, okay? All right. All right, Jeremy, tell Sam all about it. You've got 30 seconds, and they start right now. Okay. Since 1920, what state has held the nation's earliest presidential primary? Iowa, Vermont, Delaware, or New Hampshire? I'm thinking Iowa, Jer. I'm okay. not exactly sure. Um, I'm about 60% sure it's Iowa, Jer. I don't okay. know. That's what I was leaning towards, too, but... Okay, thanks. <laughs> choice, I guess I'll take A, Iowa. Final answer? Yes. No, the correct answer is New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Jeremy, I'm sorry, but it was a lot of fun having yeah. you here. Good luck to you. Take good care of yourself, okay? Well, oh, that Jeremy won't forget him for a long time and he won't forget us i'm sure but anyway iowa is a caucus and we were looking for the first primary and since 1920 that's been in new hampshire but we wish him good luck and someday we hope he comes back now, what is the main ingredient in the traditional frittata bread flour orange juice eggs <laughs> i have never had one <laughs> Frittata. Yep. Well, well, why don't we take a 50-50? If you've never had one, is that going to help? You never know. Why don't we do what you want? Computer, take away two of those wrong answers. You're right, it didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, why don't I call somebody? Let's do it. Yeah, let's call. Got to stay in the game, Sam. You got that right. Who do you want to call? Uh, my brother, Joe. All right. We need Joe on the line, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Joe. Yes. Got your brother, Sal, here, Regis Philbin, calling from Millionaire Show. Hi, Regis. How's he doing? Well, I'll tell you how he's doing. <laughs> struggling. He's struggling a little bit. Okay. He's well, going for a thousand dollars right now and this is his third lifeline. Which, where's he at? <laughs> <laughs> he, he's funny. <laughs> Thanks for the support. <laughs> he's got... <laughs> he's got 500 bucks locked up. No! And we're going for a thousand. We'd like to win a million eight here, you know okay. what I mean? Okay. 
Mm. We'll get him on the right, we'll get him right, on the right path. Joe. He's going to read you the question. <laughs> Just two answers, two possible answers we got for you. Okay. So help him out, Sal, 30 seconds right now. Hi, Joe. Hi, Sal. What is the main ingredient in a traditional frittata? Is it flour or eggs? <laughs> See? Flour. They don't run in our family. 20 seconds. Okay, hold on. How much time? 12. Keep going. Keep count. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, go, answer. Go flower. <laughs> Oof. Joe yelled out, go flower, just at the last second. <sighs> okay. Traditional Italian family, I guess, right? Yeah. And this is a, I think it's a Mexican dish, right? See. <laughs> All of a sudden, he became Spanish here. So he yelled out flour. What do you think you'd like to do? I go flour, B, final answer. It's eggs. Oh, Sal. Sal, I'm sick about this. That makes two of us. What can you do? I'm very angry. Take care of this. What are those things? I understand. That was a great time. Good. Thank you very much. All right. All right. Boy, too bad, huh? Well, what was I thinking? A frittata is traditionally an Italian omelet, and he and I might be the only Italians anywhere who didn't know the answer. So sorry, feel so bad for him, but we've got to keep on going, so here are tonight's... Which of the following is most closely related to a nectarine? An orange, apple, peach, strawberry. In California, we like to have a lot of great fruits, and I like nectarines a lot. I'll say A, orange, final answer. Well, no, they say it's peach. They say it's peach. Gosh, uh, that takes my breath away. I'm very sorry, Stan. I uh, surprised myself. But anyway, that's it. Those are the rules. I'm going to say B. Yolk's final answer. No, I'm sorry, it stays. Oh, well. I'm sorry, James. That's all right. By definition, someone who is genuflecting is doing what? Swallowing? Dancing? Sneezing? Kneeling. Uh, genuflecting requires a little bit of movement, so I would say it would be B, dancing, final answer. No, my gosh, it's kneeling, kneeling, Eric, kneeling. Oh, dear. What a shame. Well, oh, my gosh, Eric, I am sorry. Boy, I hate that. That's the one part of this job I don't like at all. I think Eric just got into a fast mode there and sped right through that one. It's too bad. Remember, you've got to take your time when you're sitting in that chair. Clothespins are designed to help you with what household task? Washing clothes, drying clothes, Ironing clothes, preventing snoring. <laughs> Washing clothes. A, hey, final. No, oh, see. Oh! Oh, oh, oh man. Oh, Jennifer, drying Jennifer, Jennifer. Clothes. Washing, drying, and ironing. It's drying clothes. Mm. I sure well, did. I, uh, you know. I'm sorry. I am too. I, I can't too. say that I hope we meet again, but <laughs> it was <laughs> nice meeting you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Boy, you hate to see that, don't you? Jennifer knew it. She knew it, but just rushed through it. we got to slow down around here. All right. If
What toy was inspired when its creator saw kids playing with pencils, sticks, and old spools of thread? Lincoln Logs, Erector Set, Tinker Toys, Legos. Uh, I was so sure it was B until you put up C. Well, now, so you, it's between Erector Set and Tinker Toys. What well, you've got to think of an Erector Set does it have the pencils, and sticks, and old spools of thread? Does Lincoln Logs have that? No, I know they don't. I know it's not A and D. My son has more Legos than you can imagine. Okay. And it's not them. So, and I played with Lincoln Logs. The, not... kid, the kid doesn't have any Tinker Toys? No. That poor child is growing up without an Erector Set. <laughs> I play with mine every night. <laughs> We're trying to think clearly here. <laughs> what are we doing, Dee Dee? If I win this money, I'll buy them both. That's and then it. I'll be final answer. Oh, Dee Dee, it was Tinker Toys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's too bad. Who's the threat? Well, I'm sorry, Dee Dee. I'm so sorry. I can't say it. Come here. Come on, Dee Dee. Okay? Isn't that terrible? Absolutely heartbreaking. All those lifelines left on the table. And she called me dude. Too bad. For the $1,000 question, in a New York Times Election Day crossword puzzle, which of these answers had the clue blue state and not red state? Melancholy, communism, outrage, insolvency. I would say uh, B, communism, final answer. No, no, Ellen, I'm sorry. No. Melancholy. Melancholy blue steak. Oh, Ellen, I'm so sorry. Well, got nothing to give you either. Oh, God. We'll take a break. We'll come right back.